Hey guys, welcome back to Dredev. Uh, welcome to our thousand sub celebration video! Yes! Woo! Woo! That's super exciting, actually. It's really exciting. I didn't think we'd get there this quickly, actually. No, definitely not. It started out really slow and then all of a sudden just picked up like crazy and now we're here. Crazy. And we're, now we're like we're on our way to 2000. It's great. It's awesome. It's, it's all fantastic. Uh, and we asked you to send in a bunch of questions for our Q&A session. And we got some questions. We got a bunch, actually. We did. We got like 15 questions or something. Some really good ones. Some really <laughs> shit ones. <laughs> right, so we have Jimmy to thank for the inspiration for this, because he did the same thing on his 200 subs video. Thanks, Jimmy. Thanks. Pal, high five. Okay, so we are going to start from oldest to newest. The first question is from Kaylin Lee, who asks, why did you want to become a YouTuber? Well, Bobby, why did you want to become a YouTuber? Uh, I wanted to become a YouTuber because I enjoy playing games. Um, there isn't a whole lot of my stuff on here at the moment, but I, I play a lot of games. I enjoy playing games a lot, and you know, if people get enjoyment out of watching me play games, so much the better, and that's, that's awesome that you guys like what we do. Um... I wanted to become a YouTuber because I was obsessed with the Yogg's cast <laughs> and I wanted to be just like them and that's basically why I wanted to start up a channel. But I think we were we were talking about it before the Yogg's cast maybe. I think so. I think we we did talk maybe about a it a little bit because we we played a lot of Minecraft together uh before John got his own computer in uh Dread of HQ1. John would always come over to my house and I had a laptop and a computer and he'd set up on my pro ass desktop and I'd get the laptop which was a, a little was bit a good worse. Laptop. It was a good laptop but it, it was a little bit worse than the desktop and we'd sit there and set up a Minecraft server and play all sorts of Minecraft things get all yeah. get up to all sorts of shenanigans and uh we did like a lot of funny stuff and we were like, oh, I wish we were recording this. And now we can. Now we record like everything we play. So now we got all we our do. funny stuff on the YouTubes. So yeah, thanks, Kaylin. Pal. Friend. <laughs> Pal, friend. Guy. Okay, the next question is from Svenik. 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 I know who you are. You suggested that we start our Steam group. So thanks for that. Um. So he's got like five questions or something. How did you start YouTube? We've uh, been over that. That's fine. We we you know went to YouTube when we made an account and uh, <laughs> we went through a couple names. Make sure you make a Google Plus account now because they're all linked. Yep. Plus. Plus. It looks nothing like a plus. Plus. Uh, which YouTuber are you a big fan of? Um, Yogg's cast everyone is who John's a big fan of. I'm subscribed to almost all their channels. There's a couple that sort of rub me the wrong way, so I don't subscribe <laughs> to them. Um, but like for the most part, them and Hat Films especially. Yeah, I think they're probably our biggest um, YouTube. You were kind of you were a Rooster Teeth. Fan, ah, yes, I'm a Rooster of, yeah. Teeth fan. Yeah, I'm a big Rooster Teeth fan. I watched all of their Red vs. Blue stuff pretty much all. I haven't watched the latest season yet, but I've. I've pretty up to date with that stuff and yeah I'm a big fan of them and what they do as well they've also inspired me to become a YouTuber the next question is still from Svenny which we're pronouncing wrong every single time <laughs> sorry buddy uh, did you ever expect to become so famous uh, I had no idea people considered us famous <laughs> <laughs> uh, we didn't I don't know, based on how things started out, we didn't really expect it to get here anytime soon. Six months to get 30 subs. Yeah. Yeah, that, that was kind of like a... It was pretty rough. We lost a couple of subs along the way. And when you only have like 20, 30 subs, <laughs> you know, losing, losing a couple is like, oh, what are we doing wrong? Oh, that was sad, yeah. Yeah. Um, oh, we, we hoped it would get, like, our subs would get this high. Oh, yeah, we did. But I don't think we expected it to go as fast as it, it ended up going. No, and even in our... Was it November weekly review? We said that maybe we'll get a thousand subs by the end of the year. Yeah. And what's it, January third? January this is like Jan second, I think. I think. Yeah, second something like that. Days. We had a thousand, and that was that was crazy. That was crazy. That was really good. Yeah. Uh, and the last part from Spenny, <laughs> who would you thank if you could win a prize for YouTube videos? I'd thank Jesus, because <laughs> Jesus is the best. <laughs> Praise Jesus! <laughs> uh, I'd thank John because he's put in oh. a majority of the effort in our channel. I'm working on helping him out more, but uh, up to this point, John's done a lot of the hard stuff. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so that's who I thank. I was serious about Jesus. <laughs> I was serious about John. All right. <laughs> I thank Robbie, I guess, for, for kind of being there. So I, I, I helped him get started a little bit. That's true. Yeah. 
All right, next question is from James Colton. And what is your favorite game of all time? Why and story about it, maybe. Oh, geez, favorite game of all time. Uh, boy. Uh, you know, if we went by, like, most played game, Minecraft is up there. It would there. probably have to be Minecraft. John's played a lot of Don't Starve, but yeah, I don't know if that... I was thinking of saying Don't Starve, but I think, like, just, like, the playability and how much we've played it, I think Minecraft. Yeah, I, there are a lot of games out there that are, I really like. I really like Halo. I've played, like, every single Halo game out there, but um, I've played Minecraft a lot more. John and I have spent, like, hours, like, over hours. 12 hours straight just sitting <clears throat> in my basement Probably playing just... Minecraft, <laughs> Tech It, all sorts of things. Oh yeah, like we did so much tech it. Staying up till ludicrous hours of the morning. <laughs> Six a.m. <laughs> Story about it, just like one that popped into my head. Like Robbie said, we did we played a lot of Minecraft before we started recording it, and one time we did a survival island map, and it started thundering and lightning in the game, and. I think I asked. <laughs> I, I remember the story. It was. Did, did I ask or did you ask? Uh, you asked me. So what happened was we were on this island trying to survive. We were clearing out some land, and John asked me, "Can lightning hit you?" Because you know we were looking at this the sky, and the, you know it was like we could hear the thunder and stuff. And I, I told John, "Yeah, I, I think it can." Uh, and I had forgotten that uh, you know pigs can get hit by lightning and they get turned yeah. into zombie pigmen. And creepers, so yeah. I, I wasn't really sure if they could. But I said, yeah, I think so. And not even five seconds after <laughs> John asked me this, I heard a giant explosion. I thought it was a creeper. It was the middle of the day. I had no idea where this creeper came from. And John was dead. I think I screamed. <laughs> John, John screamed at... Uh, we couldn't... Like, for a, a few seconds, we couldn't puzzle what happened. It just we we couldn't figure it out, and then we realized that lightning had struck John while he was clearing out this little patch of dirt or whatever, <laughs> and had murdered him dead in just you know one lightning strike. Yeah. So that that's that's one of my best memories of Minecraft. I think yeah. it was it was really humorous. It was that was great. Good. Okay, thanks James for that question. The next one comes from Mister Zero R E. Yep. <laughs> Mr. Orr? Mr. Orr, maybe? Yeah. Who asks for our top ten favorite songs of all time. Oh, God. We should have prepared this. Let's prepare it right now, actually. <laughs> all right, so we decided to do top three favorite songs, because it well, took us long enough to think of three. <laughs> yeah, it took us a long time. And Well, the, w with me and music, it's either I, I like a song, yeah. or I'm indifferent to it, or I hate it. And so right. it's hard for me to pick favorites, but I managed to pick three that I, I really like, and... Okay, so we'll uh, we'll go with uh, we'll count down from our third favorite. Okay, so we'll I'll do three, you do three, that kind of thing. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so my third favorite song of all time is the Prophet song by Queen, which is like an eight-minute, really weird song from their fourth album, Night at the Opera. <laughs> <laughs> my third favorite song, I think, might be Stonehenge by Ilvis. That's uh, a good song. <laughs> Uh, they're the guys who made uh, What Does the Fox Say? And uh, I hadn't heard of this this other one, uh, Stonehenge, that is, until John pointed it out to me. He said he didn't He said he said didn't like What Does the Fox Say that much. It. It's, it's a little irritating, you know, but um, it's entertaining. And uh, John told me about this one. I went and listened to it, and I just, I really like that song. It's a good song. Yeah. It's a very good song. Okay, my number two favorite song of all time is Not the American Average by Asking Alexandria from their first album. It's fantastic. If you're into that sort of music, go listen to it. <laughs> My second favorite song is Heaven Piercing Giga Drill by Area 11. Their singer, Sparkles, is part of the Yogg's cast, and he does some stuff with them. Not a whole lot, but... Uh, he does a lot. <laughs> not like in the, like, the, the videos. Not I mean, on screen, though. Not he does on a lot screen. of behind-the-scenes stuff. He does stuff. Like, pretty much... All the audio, I think. I was reading up on his Wikipedia page that he oh, does nice. most of the audio for them. Or he did. I don't know if he has... He has a couple of people who help yeah. him out, too. So a new, new audio guy. Yeah, and one of the guys from the band as well, Area 11. But uh, he he's pretty awesome. I am I'm I do guest vocals on one of the versions, actually. He does, yeah. It's really cool. You can almost pick him out. Almost. Almost. There's like a hundred other people there, but you can almost pick it out. Um, okay, my number one favorite song of all time is Shogun by Trivium from their fourth album, Shogun. It's 11 minutes long. It's fucking awesome. 
Yeah. I don't think I've ever heard that song. Uh, I've played it to you like once, I think. I don't remember. It's amazing. It probably wasn't amazing enough for me to remember so it. So good. <laughs> My number one favorite song is... Uh, it's the Pokemon theme song from the very first season of Pokemon. It is amazing. I can listen <laughs> to that song forever and not get tired of it. And I... Amazing. I can pretty much... I can probably remember like the lyrics. If I, I can probably write them down in a document. I don't or think I sing them. we sing them right. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, we're no, not doing that. No, we're not doing that. Copyright and stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so thank you for that question. The next one is not a question at all, but it is from Green Celery Stick, who says, congrats, buddy. Buddies, you mean? <laughs> right, pal? <laughs> <laughs> Thanks very much, Celery. Uh, you've been really helpful. You've been a, a good friend to have during all this up-and-coming YouTube stuff. Yeah, you he helped us out a bunch, and gave us some good suggestions. Uh, we're still going to do some stuff with Celery. It's just really hard to get all of our schedules aligned. It's hard enough to get recording, like, just me and Robbie. Yeah, schools just... We go to different schools, and so our the way that they schedule classes is different, and so it just makes it really, really tough to try and get openings at the same time, and with enough time for us to actually do anything productive. But yeah, something will come with Celery. Uh, definitely go check his channel out. He also does a bunch of Don't Star stuff, and he's awesome. <laughs> our next question is from Gurea12345, um, our friend Colleen. <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't have said that. Hi, Colleen! <laughs> <laughs> and uh, he asks us, how much swag do you guys have on a scale of 1 to 10? And I gotta say, we're probably like a 9.5. Well, is this like a combined swag? Oh. Or is it like an individual one? Mm, well, let's do both. Okay. How much swag do we have individually, do you think? I think I'm about a, a gangster G on the swag <laughs> scale of 1 to 10. <laughs> I think I'm a, I'm about pie, uh, so that's uh, that's either 3.14 or a piece of pie, or a full pie, depending on how you look at it. Whether probably not a piece of pie, you probably want to be a whole pie. I am a whole pie. I mean, you're probably yeah. a tiny pie, but you're, you're a whole pie. And there's like delicious little meat pies. Or maybe like a fruit pie. Ooh, a fruit pie. Fruit pie. Um, and John, I'm, what's your favorite type of fruit pie? I'm, I love cherry pie. Cherry, cherry pie? Cherry pie, hands down. Love cherry pie. What's your second favorite pie? Now you put me on the spot. <laughs> Nobody ever prepares their like second favorite. I might have to say apple. Yeah, if it's like a caramel apple kind of thing. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. What about a third? Fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just asking because I know mine. You know your three favorite pies. <laughs> yes. Uh, I think steak and kidney. <laughs> I'm talking fruit pies, John. Oh, it has to be. Fuck. This is communism <laughs> or fascism or something. <laughs> Piesome. Um uh, I think my first favorite is blueberry pie. Then my second favorite is strawberry rhubarb pie. But it's pretty it's good. pretty close, pretty closely really? tied with uh, mm -hmm. blueberry pie. Price. Then I, I really like pumpkin pie too. And then apple pie is okay, but it's That's not my right. favorite. I, I like apple crisp mm. crumble. Mm. Ooh, apple crumble. Apple crumble. Uh, yeah. uh, That's tasty. And cherry pie is good too. Cherry pie is really good. I love cherry pie. So I've asked John a question, because I actually did not know what his favorite <laughs> pie was. And now John knows what my favorite pie was. I didn't know what your favorite pie was. Now we know. Still learning something new. Amazing. After all these years. After all these years. I don't think you guys ever found out how long John and I have known each other for. Probably not. And no one fucking asked it. What the hell? <laughs> <laughs> right. Hang on, no, it's right here. This is from... And uh, he or she asks... It <coughs> asks... Um, how long have we known each other? Take it away, Robbie. Now, ready? Be right back. We need to do some math. Um, <laughs> hello, we're back after doing crazy amounts of meth. Math. <laughs> crystal math. <laughs> just crystal clear math. Like, we just use, like, clear calculators to do it. Crystal clear calculators. Yeah. It was... Wow. Brilliant. Um, we've known each other for 11 years. I was introduced to John when we were in fourth grade. Wow. Yep, he had just Great. recently moved... To Canada from England, and uh, I was introduced to him by a mutual friend of ours. Anyway, eleven years. Yes, eleven years. That's a long time. Um, we've totally gone out of where we were on our questions. The next one is from Eric Hewlett, who asks, uh, "Will you plan to release videos every day? Absolutely, at yep. least one video every day." I don't uh, think we've missed a single day since like um, February eighteenth or something. We've done a video every day. So thank you for that. The next one is from Butterboots HD. <laughs> Who says a thousand subs now? Congrats on your progress. I love your vids. Three exclamation marks. Thank you. Ooh, thank three. You for that. Uh, his question is: 
who inspired you to do YouTube, uh, firstly. We've talked about kind of what inspired us. Yogg's Cast inspired me to start, but Hat Films inspired me to, like, get better. <laughs> so that's just kind of, like, the distinction there. Yeah. Um, and if you got famous, would you make a career out of it? Definitely. Definitely. That Definitely. would be a dream job. We're both in university right now, and we're working towards careers, but if we had the option to make a career out of YouTube, that would be fantastic. There's nothing I'd like more for a job than this. I've kind of been, like, thinking in my head how many, like, about how many subs we'll need to get there. And, like, I think it's reachable. I think we can do it. Yeah, I think so. If yeah. we keep working at it right now, then I don't think there's going to be, you know... It, it's going to take a while, probably, and we're going to have to put in a lot of effort and learn a whole bunch of other yeah. stuff. You know, we have to <laughs> up our game a little bit, but um, I we think we can we, do it. And we, we definitely will, if we can. Yeah. Uh, thank you for that. So the, the next one is from Will Gill, who asks, Why don't you hold me like you used to? Well, Thank you Will, for that, Will. Uh, the, the reason is that we've been making YouTube videos, and so we need our hands to play games. Yeah. And... Well, feet hugs are just weird. And... <laughs> I don't love you anymore. Sorry. Uh, we, we, better, we better move on. John's just professed his not love for uh, Will Gill. Yeah. <sighs> Sorry, Will. So, uh, let's see, Wes Elmer has asked us, what do you think, or who do you think, sorry, would win a fight, uh, a giraffe with a machete, or a midget with a switchblade? Right, okay, so now we have to consider this. How is the giraffe holding the machete? Now, uh... Do giraffes have hooves? Do you recall, yes they do, but do you recall yes. if I've uh, mentioned the dream I had about the giraffe? I think you YouTube? might have, actually, but I'm not sure. <laughs> let's go over it again. Let's go over it again. Somebody, hang on, just this section. Somebody animate this. It'll be beautiful. <laughs> it'll, be, <laughs> it'll be fantastic. Or you tell your story. Someone animate it. I would so, love you guys. I think one day I, I went to sleep after I had just eaten some instant noodles. I was doing something. Give inspiration every day. <laughs> so I, I had you know, finished eating my bowl of instant noodles, maybe watched some anime or something, gone to sleep, and I woke up somewhat disturbed in the morning because I had dreamed about how John and I had gone somewhere, it was like a big open field, and we had somehow gotten a hold of a giraffe. We had like, you know, like a rope around its neck, and we were just leading it across this field. And I turned to John, and I was like, I wonder, John, do you think that uh, giraffes behave like horses? He's like, well, what, what, what do you mean? Like, do, do you think, you know, I could just hop on its back and just ride it around? He's like, I, I did, before he could answer, I hopped on the giraffe, and I just, you know, I was sitting there on its back, you know, with my arms around its neck, you know, big smile on my face, and the giraffe was like, ha, 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 ha. What is going... And sl slowly his face, facial expressions, his giraffe facial expressions, sort of, you know, he, he kind of grew more and more uncomfortable with this monkey-sized human <laughs> on his back doing all sorts of... Uh, he didn't even know. I was just sitting there holding onto his neck, and he's like, I, I don't like this. I don't like this. And so he started to do this, what I can only describe as... Uh, dysfunctional diagonal <laughs> gallop with his head swinging around, you know, so he's just galloping diagonally, you know, off to, like, the left, and his head just swinging about in, you know, all sorts of directions, and I'm just sitting on the back, you know, I'm just holding onto this thing's neck and just being swung all over the place, and I get, eventually I get, like, flung off into some, like, I don't know, it was a bush or a wall or something, and I sit there and I, I look at John and I'm like, they, they do not behave like horses, John. <laughs> and I woke up. And then, like, the first thing... Or, like, I got a text from him that morning. He's like, why the hell did we steal a giraffe? <laughs> or something like that. <laughs> I was like, what the fuck is this? <laughs> what are you talking about? Why did we steal a giraffe? And... Oh. Wow. Uh, so that's Robbie's story. We're totally off topic of our little question. <laughs> but it, it is talking about a giraffe. It is. So if a giraffe had a machete, I don't believe a midget with a switchblade would... Um, prevail because honestly if the giraffe held it in its mouth and it just swung its head around like it did in my dream it would just create a storm of machetes machete blade cutting slashes we, and it would just cut this tiny midget to ribbons i don't think we can actually say midget i think we're being very offensive dwarf or small person is the, the correct term. Yeah. Don't call people midgets, yeah, it's, everyone. Yeah, it's a bit rude. We, we just said it because that's what the question it's, is. It says it right there. I'm sorry. Sorry. I'm sorry, guys. Wonderful. So we'll go with the draft. <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> the next question is from uh, Jimmy. Thanks, Jimmy. You're the best. And uh, he's asked John, uh, has your hair always been that long? Um, I... No, we'll take it. We'll take it. One question at a time. One question at a time? Yeah. Um, John I, was actually born with that hair. I was, I was born bald. Not many people know that. I, I tend to keep that from people. Uh, I started growing it when I was in grade six, so I was 12 years old or something. Uh, yes. Yes, so f it's been growing for the last eight and a half years. Yeah. Now it's this beautiful length. It gets trims occasionally. Yeah, he, he trims it. He doesn't let it grow. It would be like down at the floor, you know, wrap be. around his ankles or something. It'd probably be really gross as well. I I don't think too many people actually remember John with short hair, but uh, I there are pictures. Of yeah. It. I think I have one somewhere from like sixth grade where we're both like on some playground or something but <laughs> my mom has a bunch of pictures downstairs actually of me in like grade five with short hair yeah and people come in they're like who the fuck's that <laughs> who's this guy john and john's right. like my I, son <laughs> yeah my son <laughs> my son <laughs> um but uh, to sum it up yeah john's always had long hair yeah. Since birth. It was, it was this length, too, when he came <laughs> out. His, mo his mother was horrified. Wow, everyone was horrified. Um, uh, also, what products such as shampoo and conditioner do you use to keep the metal head sheen? I use whatever is in the shower, to be honest. <laughs> My sister also has long hair, and she gets shampoo and conditioner. I, I use conditioner, because it keeps it nice and... I also condition my conditioned. hair. No one's fucking asking. <laughs> no one's fucking asking me, but uh, apparently women really like it when you condition your hair. Yeah, yeah. So tip for you guys out there if you didn't okay. know that, uh, and don't don't use like the two in one shampoo and conditioner stuff because like apparently separate. that's not good for your hair. Use right. the separate things. You know, go buy a conditioner and a shampoo and just use that. I don't really want to go into like, giving instructions on how to shampoo and condition no. your hair, but um, oh, that's weird. Yeah. Well, thanks, um, Jimmy. I, I think it's like Tresemme and Dove or something like that. Whatever's in there, really. Yeah. yeah, right. You yeah. didn't answer the question. No. I forgot. He also says, congrats. Thanks, Jimmy. Congrats on 200. Yeah, thanks. Uh, Emily E. Yeah. I believe. A. Emily A. Might be Emily E. I'm not sure. I think so. Okay. Asks, how turned up could a turn up turn if a turn up could turn up? Pretty turned up, I would say. You know, averagely turn up. Yeah. Is, is my answer. Well, you know, I think, you know, like, they could probably turn it up to 11. <laughs> Turnips, turn it up to 11. Yep. Brilliant. Okay, Wes Elmer again uh, comes back with, when's the best time to wear a striped sweater? I would say when you're not wearing striped pants, probably. Does it, would it clash or something? If you were well, like, if you're wearing pants. striped pants and you're in a striped sweater and you walked by, like, uh, some striped wall or something, you might blend in and Ooh, someone you might, blend in. you know, yeah. crash a car into you if they were aiming at the wall. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's just a hazard, a safety hazard, really. You don't, you don't want to put yourself at risk of some ludicrous, insane maniac driver crashing into you because he doesn't like striped walls. Striped walls or something, yeah. Brilliant. Uh, okay, the last nine or so questions are also from Wes Elmer. Uh, he starts off with Coke or Pepsi. Ruby? I really don't have a preference. I don't particularly like either of them. I'll drink them, but I, uh, I don't really, <laughs> I don't really care. I'm fine mm. with both. Uh, I I started off being like a, a Coke guy, and like a year ago or something, I just kind of changed into Pepsi. So it's Pepsi now. It might change. Who knows? Uh, the next question is: Which one of you is cooler? Me, probably. Hands down. Next one. I, I, I think we're both cool in our own ways. John, John's pretty metal cool, and I'm pretty... Uh, <laughs> it's these things. Um, oh, gee, mm. I, I'm Pokemon cool. I'm Pokemon cool, though. I've I'm, got a I'm Pokemon, Pokemon poster right there. I've got a Pokemon poster in my room. Come on, your roommate. <laughs> John's cooler. Yeah, that's right. Uh, how much wood could a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood? 42. Uh, where do babies come from? The stork. The stork fairy. The stork fairy uh, from Minecraft, specifically. <laughs> yeah. The Minecraft stork fairy. Yeah. Uh, does chocolate milk come from brown cows? Sometimes. Of course. Sometimes. 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 Yeah, because you can have like a white cow that um, might, you know, be like chocolate diseased or something, and then it might, 
Yeah. Ooh, that sounds a bit racist to me. I, I'm not trying to be racist. Chocolate's a disease. Ooh, racist. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if you guys knew this about John, but he can be a bit of a jackass. Ooh, a bit offensive over here. <laughs> I'll show you offensive. God, I'm threatening John on camera. Wow. Uh... Um, Still from West Elmer, have you seen my phone? I lost it last week. Robbie's actually got it right here. Uh, I've got it right here. You have a Samsung Galaxy S3, right? Yeah. I've got it right here. Uh, Sorry, I found it on the road and I just thought, oh, I'd take it. And yeah, I didn't think anybody would miss it. But, can't uh, believe it. I guess. Then we got the comment. Um, so yeah, you can have it back. We'll, we'll mail it to you. Yeah, we're, we've already mailed it, actually. We mailed it right after this. Right after this. So by the time you guys see it, it'll already be on its way. Don't worry. Uh, what's the square root of 36? Is that 6? <laughs> Yes. Is it? Yes. yes. <laughs> he, he did spell root wrong, but uh, we we won't, fine. we won't worry about it. It's not been spell checked, so that's a real thing, apparently. Rout. Uh, uh, I don't know. It's got no E. Rut. Apparently that's a word. Rut. I don't know. Uh, if you had to choose between pickles and cucumbers, what would you pick? Pickles, Pink. hands down for me. Love pickles. <sighs> love pickles. Love them on burgers. Love <sighs> them just like a little juicy pickle. You just gobble that down right down your throat. John likes more than just little juicy pickles. Go for the pickles. You just kind of like get them right. right. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I do that. <laughs> I don't really know what I'd choose. Uh, I also enjoy pickles. Uh, I like <laughs> I like pickles, but cucumbers are good too. Um, with salt, you know, it was funny when I was on my trip. I went. Uh, I was at my grandfather's house, and I asked him, "Do you have any bread?" He said, "Sure." Yeah, right here. And he cut me some bread. And I said, oh, great, because it was, it was a loaf of bread uncut. And then I asked for some uh, some butter as well. He said, yeah, sure, yeah. butter. And I said, okay, do you have any salt? And he looked at me, he's like, <laughs> yeah, yes, yes, we have salt. And uh, ever, ever since I was a child, I've always put salt on various things. Like I used to eat tomatoes with salt and cucumbers with salt and like buttered bread with a bit of salt on it because it brings out the flavor a bit and it tastes way better. Also preserves opinion. it. It preserves it as well. Right, so in your stomach. <laughs> so it can't be digested, and you can keep it forever as your bread, butter, buttered bread baby. Hmm. Right. But uh, I'd probably go with uh, cucumbers, I think. Okay. Yep. And the very last one, not question, still from Wes, I like trains. Brilliant. Trains are pretty cool. Trains are alright. Anyway, that was our Q&A. Uh... God, this has been a long video. Sorry oh about that. Oh my god, that's a terribly long video. Before editing, it is 41 minutes. And 20 seconds as of right now. Oh god, I'll edit that down. Uh, it's still going to be pretty long, so sorry about that. But we wanted to go really in-depth on all these really good questions. Yeah. Uh, thank you everyone who sent in... Questions? <laughs> just <laughs> lost it. <laughs> thank you everyone who sent in questions. Uh, thank you to all our subscribers. Oh, yeah, thank you for subscribing. It means a lot to us, actually. It really does. You guys are the best. Yep. Thanks for watching our videos. We'll see you guys later. Yep. Bye. Bye.